Well, it's Thursday. You know what that means. It's time to get a take on the news from the left, right, and middle. Once again, from the left is award-winning journalist Karen Hunter. And from the right is Washington attorney Horace Cooper, who is not in Washington tonight, but he's oh, here no. nonetheless. And uh, his camera person is still setting his shot. But Horace, we saw you, and we're glad to see you. We saw too much of him, just a little bit. We saw you up close and personal. Oh, Karen, now it's the summertime. It's time for a little frivolity. <laughs> Uh, well, it's good to see both of you. So I want to jump right in. We got a lot to talk about. So let's start with, of course, Dick Cheney made this comment, and I'm paraphrasing that uh, Barack Obama has uh, never done, had no other president has done so much wrong, made so many wrong decisions that affected so many people. So my first proposition to you all tonight is, is anybody in the Bush administration, does anybody in the Bush administration have the right to criticize Barack Obama considering that it was the Bush administration that took us into the Iraq war in the first place? Well, I'm going to start. Okay, go I, ahead, Karen. <laughs> uh, since you asked the question, and it's a family show, so I'm just going to keep it simple. Heck to the no. Uh, no, they don't have any right. Uh, they broke this thing, right? Let's be very clear. It is the Bush administration that went to Iraq to begin with when they there was no yellow cake, no mass weapons of mass destruction. None of the problems that we had on 9-11 came from, emanated from Iraq. They went there, they put up a sign, mission accomplished, everybody was, yeah, and we broke that situation. So, no, they have to be quiet as church mice and just sit there and watch this thing play out. And I think it's, it's hubris to the highest extent that this man has the, well, he does have, uh, anyway, he's, anyway, I, I have nothing <laughs> nice to say. Show. Nothing nice to say. All right, Horace, I know you have something quite different. Go ahead. Uh, um, when you're watching a fiasco of foreign policy, a foreign policy endeavor that President Obama has brought forward, one that I have tried in many different ways, whether it was uh, on uh, drones, whether it was the NSA, I have tried interrogation techniques, I have tried to be supportive of this administration because I'm interested in securing the country. What we're watching right now is a fiasco from the failure to uh, properly uh, work with Malachi uh, uh, to get a uh, status of forces agreement before um, leaving Iraq to the whole issue of saying uh, it was al-Qaeda Qaeda that was dead and General Motors is alive. Well, General Motors and Al Qaeda are killing almost as many people oh, under Lord. this administration. Oh, we and would not that, have an Iraqi me, situation. We would not have an Iraqi situation if not for the Bush administration. Have you ever made, made a pot of greens and the no, red pepper true. flakes? The that whole thing true. fell in. You can't that, go scoop those things out. They made this mess. That region. That region has been a problem for 40 years. It it's has only been, this but administration. We them. It is this administration that decided that they don't have a responsibility to continue working with our allies in the region. It is our allies in the region who are most critical. Do we even They're know who our allies in the region are the anymore? Thanks to thanks to only President because Bush of this and his president. administration. Only because of this president. On the oh one hand, goodness. he's going to let, he was tempted oh, to can, let Debbie, Iran coordinate Horace. the enemy of, of all free uh, countries. Horace, Wait, you, well, let me uh, jump in just from the middle here and just make a, make a little bit of a uh, clarification in the context. This has not been a problem for 40 years, Horace, you have to admit. This has been a problem for 1,400 years. So first Ooh, of all, the conflict there. has been yes. going on okay. literally I'll since Jesus' time. But, but I'll give you that. But go ahead. Question, Horace, just one question, one question. Did the Bush administration, do they have any culpability in this at all? Any? Well, sure. But that, the culpability is a rationale for helping to discuss the problem. What this president is doing is making a bad problem worse. And it isn't helpful for him to turn around and say, I can't handle this, but you keep your mouth shut. You absolutely need all the voices to participate in this conversation. And what we're looking at right now is a terribly, terribly ineffective foreign policy, particularly in this region. Well, let me jump in and ask this question from my perch in the middle and, and ask you, Horace, I'm almost afraid to do this, then what would you suggest? The, the, the fact is that the, the withdrawal of troops was policy that George W. Bush set and that um, Al Maliki did not want any U.S. presence to stay. Uh, so what could Obama poss possibly have done differently? 
President Obama should not have campaigned on, I will get our troops out no matter what. What he should have said is, I will end this in a, in a way that leaves our country strong. What El Malachi and what other in the region, other leaders in the region took from it was, the Americans are leaving no matter what. When the Bush administration left, the recommendation was for at least 20,000 troops. When Mr. Obama offered 3,000, of course that was an insulting problem. Proposition. What he should have said is, we need the 20,000, and we are flexible to work with you on what your other concerns were. That's the number one. We should have had a base of operation that we could be using to deploy. And we should have continued the intelligence relationships that we've decimated in the times since we withdrew. All right, Karen, you got 30 seconds. Go. Uh, I was going to say, unfortunately, Obama bought a house sight unseen, didn't realize it was haunted at the time that he bought it. So, you know, it's, it's easy to say what he would have done. He campaigned on not, no hard, 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 not knowing the extent the of the mess that he was inheriting, and, and quite frankly, it's a mess that has a hydra-headed situation going on right now. So, you know, it's, it's easy to say what you're saying. Not really. I don't even know how you're saying these things. All right. We're going to have his, to stop it right there. I'm sorry, Horace. We're Iraq all out of time. You'll have to call Karen on the phone and finish this <laughs> argument. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.